In this video, I'm going to show you how to get £15 for free to spend at the Asda School Shop. Hi, my name's Naomi from Skint Dad. Welcome back to the channel. Skint Dad is a destination online where every penny counts. Whether you're looking to save money on your bills, save for a rainy day, or find ways to up your income, Skint Dad has the answer. But before we go any further, please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll find out when we next share a video, which could quite possibly put more money in your pocket. So I know it's a funny time to be talking about school uniform and back to school. You know, we're not that far into the year, but September comes around quite quickly when you're least expecting it. So if you've got kids in primary school, secondary school, or maybe they're making the move to sixth form or, uh, or college, new uniform, new PE kit, new stationery, it all does add up. And I think where kids have grown and haven't necessarily worn as much as their school uniform recently, hopefully they'll be back in September. Unfortunately, they're gonna need new stuff. I think a, a survey by the Department of Education showed that the average cost of the uniform is about £213 per child. That's what people are spending. So it can be a significant amount of money if you don't plan and save up for that through the year. So knowing it's going to be quite a stretch for parents, Asda have come up with a way to both help you save and get a bonus back when you do. So they've come up with this school shop savings card. Now the idea of this, you get one of these just plastic kind of credit card type cards. You also get a key fob and you just use these when you're shopping in store. You can top money up on it. It's just like a gift card. Keep adding money to it. Come uh, July, there'll be a bonus and you get money back for what you're saving. Effectively, you could get about a 5% return on what you put in, which is a fair bit really. Um, there are different levels. So the more you save, the more bonus you can get. If you save between 30 and 79 pounds, they'll give you a one pound bonus for free. If you save between 80 and 129 pounds, they'll give you a three pound bonus. If you save between 130 and 179 pounds, they'll give you a six pound bonus. If you save between 180 and 229 pounds, you'll get a nine pound bonus. If you save between 230 and 279 pounds, you'll get a 12 pound bonus. And if you save over 280 pounds on the card, you'll get a 15 pound cash bonus. Now you're able to save to 485 pounds on one of these cards but you'll still be limited to that 15 pound bonus so if you know you want to save more or you want to, to use this um, within your shop at asda what's probably a good idea is to to max out up to that bonus so you get that full 280 pounds um, to get your 15 pound bonus but say you want to spend more get a second card and start saving on that because any more past that 280 and you can start to, to get a new bonus on a new card rather than being capped. So it, it makes sense to, to save more than once. As it's a gift card, you can spend the money from it as you want to. It's kind of, you need to be conscious that once you load money onto the card, it is stuck there. If you want to spend it, you can, you can use it for, to pay in part or in full for stuff that you need to buy at Asda but you're not able to get cash back off it and you're not able to get change from the card. So to kind of be conscious, if you're putting money on there, it's going to stay on there. You're going to need to use it in Asda. I think it's also conscious that you need to wait until July to be able to get your bonus. So if you spend it before then, if you, as long as you're staying within one of those limits of at least 30 pounds, you will get a bonus, but you're going to lose it if you keep spending it off. So just be conscious about how you save and what's worthwhile for you. Now, while the idea of this card is that it's for the, the schools and, and back to school, you don't necessarily have to just spend it on that. Now, similar to Asda do a, a Christmas savings club, and in November, they give you a bonus to spend on what you want for Christmas, whether it be food or homeware or whatever you want to do. Now, this club, although it's aimed at the school, You'll get your bonus in July ahead of the time for you to be back at school, or the kids to be back at school, but you potentially could use it for anything. The terms and conditions on the card just specify that you can't use it to buy another gift card, use it in third party concessions, or with the usual things that are excluded, such as uh, petrol, um, lottery tickets, scratch card, and things like that. So you could potentially use it to get your shop as well, and if you know you're going to be doing food shop at Asda, you could get a £15 bonus if as, as free money. 
One thing to be really conscious of though, it's not necessarily a safe way to treat your savings. The card that you get, you need to treat it like cash. If you lose the card, you are going to lose your money. So once you first um, loaded money onto the card, you can go online to, um, to the Asda gift card site and you can register it so it's attached to yourself. That will give you some kind of protection if it is lost or stolen. Another thing to be conscious of is that as with other gift cards with other companies, if the company goes bust, goes under, you're not going to get any protection and you're going to lose your money. I mean, fingers crossed, that's not going to happen to Asda. It would be absolutely awful with any company when it happens. But you've got no um, FSCS protection like you do with the, your bank savings account. So if, the, if they were to go, you are going to lose all your money. But then you have to kind of balance it up. Maybe it's better instead of topping up here and there, save into a normal savings account where you know your money is protected. And then the day or day before you want to get your bonus before the, it comes in in July, load the card at that point with the money, get your bonus and then spend it as a way to get some free money. But it's, it's a kind of a, a difficult thing. If you're going to be able to get a, up to a equivalent of a 5% return, there's not many easy cash accounts at the moment that can get you that kind of, of interest back. So it's a useful thing from Asda. I think if you know you're going to be shopping there, particularly getting a school uniform, it's a good way to be able to get a bonus. So do you think you'll use it? Have you used any of these saving schemes from supermarkets before? I think they're a good way to be able to not only help spread the cost, but know that you've got this pot of money that you can use for a specific purpose. So thanks for watching today's video. I hope it's been useful for you and that hopefully you can get a bit of free money out of it.